Hello guys, welcome to another short tutorial on Angular. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can get the input value and display as soon there is a change in value in that input text box using one of the Angular's event handler method here. Currently, I have a simple component where I don't have any content here. The default content which is generated by Angular while creation of this component, only that content is appearing here. If you observe that one in a browser, you can see only input change works. That is the content which we have in our component as of now. As here, I want to get the value of input text box. As soon there is a value change, let me have a input text box first. This is a basic example, but it's quite uh, useful in real time scenarios such as getting email IDs or passwords or anything. For this example, I will take as email ID, add an input text box here and the type of this one will be text. Now I have added input text box here. Let me save this one. Angular auto compiles now. When I go back to browser, you can observe there is a simple text box. I want to capture this input, whatever is entered by the user. For example, for this email ID, user are going to enter the email IDs here. This is a basic step where we are getting the user input and this can be used in various operations such as if you want to validate this email ID or if you want to send this email ID to the database or if you want to trigger a mail. In those kind of scenarios, this is a basic operation which will be very useful. As a basic step, first I want to capture this one. As we are not performing any of the operations such as sending a mail or validating these email IDs, let me get this input and display in the console. To capture the user input, let me create a variable in TypeScript file. Name that one as a value and it will be of the type any. And as I want to capture the value of the user input, I'll be using two-way binding to this input. To use the two-way binding, add square brackets and within those square brackets, add normal brackets and type as ng model then is equals to here you need to define the value. So now what this two-way binding will do is whatever the value is entered in this input box that will get assigned to the variable which we have defined in the TypeScript file. So now we got the value in this variable. I need to display this one as soon the value of this input changes. For that one, I'm going to use another function here or event handler, which is in Angular, that is change. So whenever this input changes, this event handler will get called. So for this event handler, you need to define a function so that whenever input changes, this function get called. So let me add a function here and take the name of this function and create the function in your TypeScript file. As I said earlier, here I am not going to do any operation or any validation here. Just I want to print the value which is entered by user into a console. For that one, let me use console.log and I will add a message as email id entered is then use the plus operator to concatenate the string and the value which we are going to get it. As we are using two-way binding here, the value is getting automatically saved in this value variable. So what I can do is here I can just mention the variable name here. So that's it what we need to do to get the value whenever there is a change in input by the user. Let me save all files. Angular auto compiles. Go back to browser. Let me add a simple mail ID here. As soon my focus goes out of this input box, you can observe the value entered in this input text box that is getting captured here. If I edit here and add some more content and focus out of this input text box, you can observe this particular function is getting called and value entered in this input is getting captured here. So these are the simple steps which we need to follow to get the value of the input box. 
the first one the main thing is we need to define two way binding here and push the value whatever is entered by the user to a variable which is defined already in a TypeScript and use that value wherever you want as in this example just for printing in console I am using that one that's it guys for this video thank you for watching this if you like this video please subscribe to my channel click on like button and share it to others